Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another brilliant episode of the African Exodist Podcast, the show that brings you exceptional immigrants, excep exceptional members of our community who are moving the needle forward. Today, I am privileged to have a special guest, Mr. John Paul Yafali from the Nested Communities here in Washington State. Welcome to the show, Mr. Jean Paul. Thank you, sir. We have a special, special message for our, our French speaking, our French community, our French immigrants here in the state of Washington. I would go ahead, but I'll let my brother Jean Paul go ahead with the message. Merci beaucoup. La communication est très simple. Uh, L'État de Washington uh, um, venait de mettre, de, venait de disponibiliser des fonds pour euh, euh, assister les sans-papiers et, euh, et l'État euh, a mis en place certaines conditions. Et donc, si tu es un immigrant et que tu vis dans l'État de Washington et si tu n'es pas éligible à recevoir euh, euh, l'assistance au niveau fédéral, par exemple le stimulus check, ou bien tu n'es pas euh, éligible à recevoir l'argent du sans-emploi, ce qu'on appelle ici euh, un employment insurance, parce que ta situation avec l'immigration, euh, tu es encore en situation illégale. Et puis, euh, si par exemple tu, as, euh, tu es passé, tu as traversé des moments difficiles, Uh, pour raison de COVID-19, uh, alors tu es éligible à soumettre une application, un formulaire de demande de fonds uh, par rapport à la COVID-19, uh, ce qu'on appelle ici en anglais COVID-19 Immigrant, Re uh, Immigrant Relief Fund. C'est tout simplement dire que cet argent-là, ces fonds, c'est pour assister les personnes, euh, les sans-papiers qui ont été affectés par euh, la pandémie de la COVID-19. Et donc, si votre formulaire de demande de fonds est accepté et euh, vous pourriez recevoir euh, euh, jusqu'à euh, au moins 1000 dollars par individu, et cette somme sera beaucoup plus euh, avantageuse. Euh, il sera beaucoup, euh, il euh, sera d'un grand montant euh, pour ceux qui sont en famille. Voilà la communication que je voudrais euh, passer ici. Donc, si tu es sans papier, tu ne peux pas avoir euh, euh, le stimulus check, tu ne peux pas avoir l'argent de un employment. Et si tu as fait, uh, tu as été victime de la COVID-19, alors tu es éligible à soumettre un formulaire de demande de fonds. Uh, et puis, uh, le site pour uh, soumettre uh, le formulaire, c'est immigrantrelief.org. Uh, et euh, il existe aussi des, des, euh, des associations, des organisations. Par exemple, mon organisation pourra vous aider à soumettre ce formulaire-là. Voilà la communication. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to us. Remember, the deadline is November 14th. We have a really short time period to apply for this grant, okay? You're eligible. Apply. Make sure you're a Washington State resident. Circling back, Mr. Jean-Paul, you're from a particular beautiful country in Africa. And for those who are geographically challenged like myself, where is DRC on the map of Africa? DRC is actually located in Central Africa, okay. and uh, we used to say, and uh, even the whole world say, DRC is the heart of, of Africa. Africa. It's in the heart, it's right there. Yes. Thank you, thank you. And for anybody who has never visited DRC before, if I was coming there as a first-time tourist, uh, never stepped in Africa in my life, what are some of the three places you, I have to go? It's a must-see. Yes. One of the place uh, is to visit uh, uh, dam. Dam. One of the largest dam in Africa. Uh, it's called uh, Barrage Dinga. Barrage Dinga. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it uh, produces electricity uh, and it's able to produce electricity that can, sustain. you know, supply, Correct. sustain 
a power to whole Africa wow. and a portion of Europe. All wow, Africa, Europe, uh, yeah, it's really big and mm. powerful. Okay. That's the first place you may visit. Okay. Another place that you can visit is uh, an eastern part of the Congo, the Congo okay. and where we have uh, mountains. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it's exactly look like Mount Rainier, mm. where you have uh snow, no, snow at the top all year long you can at go the, there the whole time the whole time yeah all year long so oh. ice is uh, snow is always there okay then the last portion that you can visit is probably just uh um uh, kisangani kisangani uh, yeah okay. wagenya falls wagenya falls yes it's beautiful there mm -hmm. you will see all these falls you will see some traditional, traditional way of catching fish. fish yes and that is just so inspiring uh, and that's uh i would love you guys to visit to come, those to come visit there yes uh, being speaking about food which was my next question I heard you guys have some of the most unique cuisine. What's one of your favorite foods from from DRC? What's something irreplaceable anywhere else? It's uh, exactly what in Kenya is called nyamachoma. Yes. But in the Congo, we call it kabri. Kabri. Yeah, okay. kabri. Okay. We call it kabri. Okay. And so it's just basically uh, goat meat. Yeah. So uh, 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 smoked goat meat. Correct. And they serve that with uh, uh, a spicy uh, uh, s powder. Yes. And uh, you eat that with uh, a cassava based um, um, cassava based meal. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, called uh, uh, kwanga mm -hmm. or shikwang in French. And that is just amazing. Then mm -hmm. you add to that a glass of beer. Ooh. Oh, you're done. You're relaxed for the day. Relax. <laughs> and because the weather is just it's, like it's uh, yeah. in uh, California, yes. Nevada, yeah. Texas, it's, it's hard. It's, very, it's not like Palm Springs. It's very no, calm. It's a calm it, heat. It's a calm heat. Yeah. And because people dance, people always dance, yeah. people, you have so welcoming people mm. and your experience will would, just be, would, would amazing. be amazing. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, you've heard that we're working the first flight to DRC when we can. All right. Circling back to Seattle, you do amazing work as a coalition leader here in Washington State. Uh, what are some of your most memorable? You've done a lot of projects with the coalition. What are some of your most memorable times within the coalition? Within the coalition, it's exact, especially uh, the amount of people that the coalition is Bring able mm -hmm. to serve. Mm. You know, the need is so real mm -hmm. in the community. Correct. But due to racism uh, and the structure of racism, yes. it's not easy for to bring it uh, yeah. our organization to access the funds, funds and yes. so on. Yeah. But the list that we get, the list that we have. Mm -hmm we are able to provide mm -hmm. services to thousands of people. And just like it says in Africa, um, like um, a handful uh, amount of uh, peanuts will not be able to, uh, to feed everyone, but African people are always happy to share that's Even, little peanuts. Yeah, just little peanuts. quantity. Correct. They will share that with everyone mm, yes. present. Yes. And that's exactly what do we do. Mm. While, for example, um, uh, organizations, uh, white-owned organizations mm. in Seattle, King County, mm. in the homelessness system are getting $500 million, but they can provide services to only like 100 people. We can provide services to 5,000 people, even only with uh, 1,000. 1, 1, yes. We manage to, 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 like to squeeze, to, that, to to squeeze sure it works. because we do care about the people's Correct. life. Yes. And so if the government, local government, if all the funders here, philanthropy, we're talk, talking about like uh, Gates Foundation, yes, Schultz yes. Foundation, yeah. Uh, uh, even like Starbucks Coffee Foundation, all these people, philanthropy, Rex Foundation, if they can found the coalition, I think they will see changes because 
we do care about people's life. And we do, uh, I do notice that, uh, yeah, the budget that we've got, we work with a really like tight knot, bootstrap budget. Exactly. And we're still making out this outreach. So you think, uh, apart from funding, do you think there's any other resources that we could use as a coalition to move forward? Anything okay. like uh, affordable housing, yes. if we can have that, okay. like unused uh, government, government buildings. buildings. Yeah, you can. Yeah, give yeah. it to the coalition. Yeah. We can transform that to other an stuff. office and yeah, a whole an resource center. Like all the like the fleet that the government that like uh, uh, d d dispose Good. like at the end of every uh, uh, fiscal year. Yes, yes, give that yes, to the to coalition. Us. Correct. We can provide services. We can serve the community. Yeah, and many other resources. That's all we need. That's all we need. Yeah, so that we can help the people access these services, Correct. access resources, yes. like uh, uh, scholarship for uh, uh, our, the people, because yes. we train the people to make them skilled. Yes. African are people who work and they come here ready to contribute to the, to the, the economy. economy. Yes. They want to work. They don't want to be on welfare. They don't want to yes. borrow money from the government. Yes. No. They want to uh, contribute to exactly. the- Exactly. Yeah. And they have kids. I am a parent. Mm -hmm. My kids are always on top of the classes, mm -hmm. their classes. But I don't know whether I, how I will do next time, for example, to make sure that uh, I can provide them with the type of education that, that they, they have, need. Yes. They need. Yeah. If I cannot access the resources now to get it, the, yes. to get them there. If I cannot, like, uh, uh, like the coalition cannot help me to sustain uh, a type of the economic development within the immigrant the and refugee community. Yes. yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard, if you're out there and you're a philanthropist, you know what we are representing, Washington Coalition of African Community Leaders, and they are multiple nonprofits. There's my brother here with the Nested Communities. I am with the Kicheko Project. Please, whichever resource you have, a donation, websites are right here. Please do your best. This is another episode with the African Excellist, with my brother here, Jean-Paul. But before we go, yeah. uh, we have a tradition here at the show where we have to teach our, our listeners how to say good morning or say hello or say goodbye. That way they can know how to interact. How do you do it in French? Yes, in French, uh, hello, we will say salut. Salut. Or bonjour. Bonjour. Or bonsoir, depending bonsoir. on a bad salut is uh, like, it crosses all, all the time. All the time, salut, yeah. okay. And or uh, goodbye, we say au revoir. Au revoir. Yeah, good, au revoir. Mm -hmm. A plus. Uh, so multiple uh, ways of saying the same thing. So it just depends on uh, the context. How are we gonna say Biden from this show? Uh, merci this beaucoup. Context. Au revoir. A plus. A blue. Okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been another show with my brother Jean Paul. And just like the French said, when the show is over, we gotta say goodbye. How do we say, it, brother? Au revoir. A blue. A blue.